Luke here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel and today me and my boys we're gonna go out survival camping using primitive fishing techniques. But before we get started I want to take a moment to thank this video's sponsor, Grizzwis. Invented by survival expert and TV personality Bear Grylls, Grizzwiz is the ultimate survival drink and it just might save your life. Grizzwiz is 100% organic, all natural, gluten free, and it's made from Bear Grylls own dehydrated urine. That's dehydrated pee. That's right. Bear Grizz will tell anyone that in any survival situation, the first thing you do is drink your own urine. <sighs> However, for most of us, the thought of drinking our own urine is a bit daunting. But luckily, we have Grizz Whiz, so we don't have to drink our own urine. We can drink Bear Grylls urine. <laughs> All you have to do is mix one scoop of Grizz Whiz dehydrated urine powder with any source of fresh clean water and there you have it, instant fresh urine. <sighs> After all, you pee more than water, so why shouldn't you drink more than water? But Grizz Whiz isn't just a survival tool. It's also great for rehydrating after workouts and for passing random drug tests. And now Grizz Whiz comes in two flavors, original flavor and asparagus. Also, don't forget to check out Bear Grylls new line of survival bars for a smooth, healthy snack out on the trail. Don't forget to use promo code OUTDOORBOYS to get this awesome Grizz Whiz survival flask with your first purchase of any of the new Grizz Whiz products. Mm. Mm. And once again, thank you Grizz Whiz for sponsoring this video. Enjoy the show. Oh, look at this, guys. There's a bunch of pawpaw trees. This is a pawpaw tree right here. Produces the largest fruit in North America. Good. All right, guys, what do you think of this spot? Yeah, I'm getting my Well, we got a nice little spot. It's flat level, a little dry. There's some firewood around. Well, I didn't bring a tent, so we're gonna build our own survival shelter for tonight. And uh, I'm gonna try to catch some food too. And I didn't bring a fishing rod, so we're gonna use a pocket knife and a bit of line and see if we can't catch something. If we're gonna catch fish, we need to find some bait. Can you help me find some earthworms? Yeah. Yeah, let's flip over some logs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at these. Hot darn. Get look at the them. size of these beefy guys. Get them. Get them right. There's centipedes. Yeah, there's some centipedes down there. Do you find a big worm? You got some worms too. Well, that is more than enough worms right there. The nice thing about these floodplains is the soil's usually a little damp, just perfect for big fat earthworms. <sighs> All right. Okay, got my worm bottle here. You know, because we don't have a stove or a tent, we're gonna be using a fire to cook off of and to keep ourselves warm. So we need a lot of firewood and log jams are a wonderful place to find a lot of dead dry wood. And you can see here, this is a flood plain. So whenever that river floods, the water comes in here amongst the trees. And we get these piles where all the driftwood gets swept into a pile here in the woods. So all the fuel we could need right here. Will you help me make the, the camp? Put all the sticks right there. Make a pile of sticks. Okay, good job.
size of this slug. Look at that. Oh, it's a giant leopard slug. If you hold really still, he'll crawl around. See his little eyes right there? Yeah, you chopping that log? Yeah. Did you hit your thumb with the pickaxe? Yeah. Here, why don't you show the camera? Oh, look at that. You've had a rough week with fingers, haven't you? Yeah. He smashed his finger in a toy box last week and had to get stitches. All right, we got our fire pit and our firewood all set up. I think we need to do some fishing. So I'm gonna go get me a fishing rod. Oh, I think this is it. Yeah. Must be fast. Is this a good fishing rod? Tickle, tickle, tickle. There we go, that's a nice fishing rod right there. So I got my fishing rod. I've got a bunch of bait and I've got a spool of fishing line. So now I need to go find a hook. All right guys, we're gonna make a primitive style of fish hook called a fish gouge. And you can make them out of wood or bone. Uh, today, we're gonna to make them out of wood. And you can use any hardwood or even thorns, but I like to use bamboo. And it just so happens, I found some. That is a piece of bamboo and that's more than enough. All right, that right there is our fish gouge. Let me tie it on the fishing line and show you how it works. It's going to tap into fingo. So this is the fish gouge. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put a piece of earthworm on it and the fish will swallow it and it'll slide down their stomach like so. And then when you pull it, it gets stuck in their throat like this. Hands down, the best bait for doing this is earthworms. That's how you bait the gouge. You got a little bit of a point sticking out that side, that side, but you see how the gouge is on its side? The fish will swallow that, and then once it's in his stomach and you put tension on it, the gouge will pop per perpendicular and stick in his throat. Hands down, bluegill and other panfish are the best fish to target with fish gouges because they just like to swallow the bait for some reason. It just works really well on them. And a spot like this where you've got a tree overhanging the water, that's where you're gonna find bluegill in the middle of the day in the summertime. One of the keys to doing this is you've got to make the fish gouge delicate enough that the worm will make it sink. If your fish gouge doesn't sink when it's baited up, it doesn't work very well. Thank you. Annie. The teeth. Look at this. Look at this, I got him. We caught a fish. There we go. The way you get the fish gouge out is you put a little tension on the line. You go down there and poke the fish gouge until you get it to turn sideways. There we go, a little bluegill. Jacob, should we eat him? There we go. Got our tiny little fish on our tiny little stringer. You got poop in your diaper? Oh, Jacob, did you put your finger in your diaper? Yeah, and some poop got on my finger. Ew, that gross. Okay, let's go change your diaper. Well, I finally got the fishing dialed in, but Jacob's a little fussy, he's getting hungry. So I'm gonna pull out some snacks and uh, then we might build a fire and work on dinner. 
So this right here is fruit leather made from autumn olives that we harvested here just uh, last week. You want some of that? Okay. Mm. Fruit leather is kind of like fruit roll-ups and uh, this is made from autumn olives, which is a berry that grows here. Tastes nothing like an olive. Uh, it's more like a cranberry and it makes really good fruit leather. Also, I have a piece of smoked salmon jerky here. You want some salmon? Yeah. We caught this up in Alaska last month and smoked it. Mm. You like the salmon jerky? Yeah. You got this for me? I caught it for you. Yay! <laughs> While we still have a little bit of sunlight, I think we get our camp set up. Hold on. Okay, just take your boots off. You guys want me to start a fire? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's get a fire started. Yay! Best day ever. <laughs> so I've got a bunch of wood shavings, a little bit of jute. Nathan, you want to try it now? Yeah. Okay. You hold this part. The metal part, hold it. You got it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So fire Watch out! Back off! Back off! <laughs> yep. Yeah. I had it back away. You don't want to lose your baby. Give me that one. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, you. All right. Well, we have a special dinner planned tonight. You guys excited? Yeah. We've got tomahawk pork chops. You guys excited? Yeah. yeah. All right. Tomahawk chops. Some are crossed and crumbled for the big boy time. I'm going to eat some big. And one of And Tim said, eat my Cheetos. They were trying to eat your Cheetos? Can you please give Tommy a Cheeto? No. <laughs> Jacob, you have to share the Cheetos. Jacob, I need a Cheeto. Jacob, you have to share the Cheetos. Jacob, where are you going? I, yeah, I don't like who you become when you eat Cheetos. Let me see the Cheetos. No. Sorry, bud. Well, the tomahawk chops are going to take a little while to cook. Do you guys want to eat some snacks in the meantime? Yeah. Okay, how about some cheese and bread? Would you like some baked cheese? Yeah. Okay. And has oh. See these guys? Have you ever seen these? It's a type of cheese called Gouda. It's got the little bit of wax on it. Daddy, daddy. All right. So we're gonna put a little Gouda wheel on a stick here. Get off. Wait, is it going to be dark soon? Mm. Oh, I was like the best grilled cheese sandwich ever. I'm just crackers about cheese. When you toast the bread on the coals, it's super quick. And then you just blow them really quick. Gets rid of all the ash. Looks like we have a special guest. Why don't you come in? We were just about to have some cheese. You ready for a campfire grilled cheese sandwich, baby? Ready. Look at this. A little hot. Thank you. Really good. Catch up. I caught him. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. I'm getting pretty good with that fish gouge. Although I have to admit, I think I might stick with the, the fancy grilled cheese. Gotta salt them up. Are you guys find a giant spider? <laughs> that one? Oh, hold on, let me see him. So oh, yeah. I'll put him in Nathan's hair. <laughs> Well, Mama's gonna head back home now and try to avoid uh, getting caught in the dark and Jacob apparently wants to go with her. So he's gonna head home and me, Tom and Nate are gonna keep camping here and cooking those chops. It's dark. Ooh, that looks good. You know what goes really good with pork? What? Apples. This is homemade apple butter. This is what I wanna try to we're gonna dip dip the pork in apple butter. Daddy, I know I know mm. you are doing that. Mm. Daddy? 
We picked two bushels of apples last week and turned them into cider and apple butter. I love this stuff, man. Homemade apple butter is the best. There you go, Nate. With some scales of meat. Daddy's iron. Bluegill meat. There you go. I'm done with the meat. Is <sighs> done? Oh, no. Mine. Mine. That's I am. These are Madelines. These are a French cookie designed to be dunked in hot chocolate. We can do what it's made for. That is good. Yeah, isn't that great? You guys full? Okay, why don't we guys start hopping into bed, okay? Well, here we are guys, we're getting ready to sleep under our shelter, but we got to worry a little bit about mosquitoes because they can get us so bad when we're sleeping. So I'm going to put on this Ultron insect repellent. It lasts eight hours and it's not made uh, with as much DEET as other, uh, other types of repellent. So it, it lasts a lot better. Ooh, let's get up and get dressed. Well, Nathan decided his pants were cold, so he was gonna wear pants today. I'm not wearing pants. Listen, kid, nobody likes wearing clothes in public, but you know, it's, it's the law. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more camping videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, check out the link in the description for our camping video playlist. And don't forget to click subscribe because we put out new videos every Saturday morning. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button so you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.